Good afternoon, Ooh. everyone. And welcome along. Uh, sorry for the late start, but we were working on a little bit of a session zero situation. We had a couple things we had to agree on, but I'd like to welcome you aboard for hopefully an interesting and fun improv situation. Uh, I'm bringing on board our four players, Ryan, Annie, Drake, and Will. Y'all. I'll have them introduce their characters momentarily, but I would like to introduce the town before we start. Um, as preparation, final preparations for disembarking from the ship are being made, you uh, see on the horizon the town of Wainan. As it approaches, uh, you see a city on the flux uh, as industry begins pushing forward against the dilapidation of a underutilized and underloved uh, ship uh, fishing village. Uh, more to the point, uh, you see a city that is beginning to push into affluence. Um, as the crew begins making final preparations uh, to disembark, you see a heavily agitated gnome uh, pacing back and forth on the docks, uh, looking eagerly and a little bit heated at the ship as you were. <laughs> I actually do love that noise, by the way. Thank you very much for that, Jay. Ah. All right, guys. Hello. How are you? Uh, are you? The, the name is Apropos. Are you the wage warriors that I've been told by my uh, and hopefully our uh, prospective employer to uh, to greet? Oh, you oh. got that right. Oh, fantastic. Ah, well, uh, my name is uh, Milton Jimbar, uh Temin Mackle, and I I carry the prodigious what honor of. What's that name again? <laughs> <laughs> Milton Jimavar Temin Mackle, and I carry the prodigious honor of uh, bringing you to the uh, mansion of the mayor, um, my good friend. Um, hopefully we can uh, speak up business as we uh, travel, or if you wish, we can wait until uh, the mayor has arrived and we can uh, deal with it then. Um, Do we like the leader of our group over here? Did any of you like the leader of your group? Is Drake our leader? I pointed at Annie. Annie? It has, it has been decided. <laughs> <laughs> you have been so voluntold. Like <laughs> <laughs> the goblin victory stomp of everybody steps backwards, so now you're the leader. I'm, I'm just going to walk up and be like, big name, I call you Milt, and just slap him on the back. <laughs> he stumbles forward. Uh, he's not exactly uh, a large man, uh, even by gnome standards. Milt! Uh, Let's give him a ha ha ha. <laughs> He, he, he quails a little bit, uh, looks up, uh, I suppose Milt will do. Uh, I don't think that larger words might be useful for you anyway. Uh, <laughs> is, uh, is any amongst you slightly more uh, prone to talking or eloquent? As, as this is happening, my mouth's just open, just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Hello, good sir Milton. Thank you. Yes, okay, thank you. That'll work, I suppose. <laughs> it's a ple pleasure to meet you. I've been on that boat far too long. Yes, uh, that actually carries to the nature of our business today. We're all quite late. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. Uh, yeah, I'm down to meet the mayor and help you with this task. Is that what you were saying? Yes. Uh, speaking of the business, uh, I don't know if you read through the letter or if you just decided that the uh, lucrative opportunity was all you needed to bring yourselves to our quaint little village, but I would be happy to get you there. Well, I can't read, but I'm always down for whatever we got going on, so... Reading too many words. <laughs> <laughs> all right, excellent. I guess we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, then. Uh, he begins... <laughs> At this point, you can't I mean, read, but you're an artificer. <laughs> hey, man, I, I can work with my hands, but my eyes, they, the, 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 the letters, they there, get a little jumbled there. sometimes. I need picture books. I need a lot of pictures. This is where Ikea is going to come from. Milton sighs heavily and then just turns and begins slowly stepping away. Should I follow you, Milton? I suppose that is the only way we're going to get there. <laughs> He's very matter of fact. Like Do I have a copy of that letter, sir? Do you have one on you that I could read? No. 
<laughs> well, I seem to have lost my letter, so. Oh well, that is that is uh, that is definitely a grievous oversight, and I apologize. Uh, I don't I don't have a copy of letter that I've already sent. Uh, I, that is an oversight, and I will keep in mind in the future to have these things on hand for you. Uh, so he begins uh, leading you through the village. Uh, the uh, wharf itself is in a protective cove that goes up a slight rise to a pretty well uh, built up bluff. Uh, as you begin pushing through the city, uh, there's signs of canneries and uh, light industrial buildings. Uh, there's a lively city center filled with merchants and uh, people hawking their wares, people going about their daily business. Uh, as you head to the northern part of the city, a pretty well-appointed manor house sits uh, just to the side of the walls leading to the city. What did you say the name of this town was again? Wayman. W A I N E N. Say that again. W A I N E N. Wayman. I was almost there. I put a Y in there. Also valid. Can you can write. <laughs> Don't ask me to read I again. I can after. write. Guck cannot write. <laughs> <laughs> he tries his best, though. Okay. So. Uh, I hate to frame it this way, but it seems like you have two illiterates amongst your party. Yeah. Uh, does this does this bode well for? I you know what I, I, don't I know just if come I in and I go. That question. Ha ha! He call you there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not so much interested in the details as the name implies. We're more so interested in the wages. So we 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 hear the promise of money, and we're on our way. Our quiet leader does most of the thinking. We do the talking. Wage means money. <laughs> Yes. That is an excellent call. Thank you. Job, Thank you for <laughs> acknowledging the, the the way of commerce. Let's uh, oof, let's continue though. Uh, he leads you up to the front door of the manor and he knocks a couple yeah, times. Uh, a half orc dressed uh, in some decent finery, uh, about the same height as Guck, uh, opens the door, looks out. And I'm six feet tall. <laughs> gives you uh, he gives you all an appraising glance. And looks over at Milton. Um, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I just grab my hips and I'm like, <laughs> "All right, excellent." Uh, I think that. Mm. It's like you know what? You've changed my mind. <laughs> I admire like the cut of your jib. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> the man the man has uh, has the aura of someone who likes to get things done. <laughs> so I, I think that mm. uh, Milton, are you sure? Milton, are you sure? Uh, Milton just shrugs and uh, leads leads the rest of you inside. Uh, all right, let's go to the uh, to the offices in the back, and we discuss what we need to. Um, he leads you into the manor's uh, office. Uh, behind the desk sits a uh, thin, uh, slightly aged half elf. Uh, he stands up as you approach uh, and puts a hand out. Draken Smythe. Glad to make your acquaintance. What was that? <laughs> Draken Smythe. Being pretty guck like over here. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm going to walk up names, to him, man. my three foot tall self, and I'm going to reach my hand up. Just nice to meet you, but I'm not tall enough to quite reach the hand. So you're just going to have to bend over slightly to reach. Yeah, he leans, he leans forward and grabs your hand. Ah, well, thank you. That was very polite. Uh, so, I suppose that the letter told you about what is going on, but to spell it out further, we've been suffering a bit of uh, difficulty in transporting our goods to the capital. Um, over the last couple of weeks, we've had quite a spate of, uh, well, marauders? Uh, we've had some misfortune with the uh, carriages being uh, ransacked uh, in route. And we're hoping to hire some adventurers to stop them by any means necessary. I just, and when you say by any means... I nudge over to our leader over here, uh, Willow, and I go, Marauders means bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is this yes. Like I can't you? reach your head, Kyle. Like actually. You're good. Are they just I, standard bandits, or what are they? Maybe after? go on the 
top more so we can see the newer stuff. Yeah. yeah right the so. <laughs> I got you. Keep going down. Right. Yes. And right. So. Yeah. Southeast. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Up a little bit. Right. Right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Up a little bit. Grab right. it. No. Oh, no. 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 Oh, oh you <laughs> dick. <laughs> I don't on the chat. You clicked on the chat. <laughs> you were just right there. <laughs> it was there. like a millimeter. There it is. Okay. All right. We got this. Oh, oh, right. oh click, 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 click. Right yes. there. Oh. Keep, going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're Gucci. Right there Perfect. is fine. Thank you. Did you. It. So, so honestly, what's funny about the whole thing is I actually have no idea what you guys are saying. <laughs> My screen's black right now, so I don't this see anything. This is all in-game, too. Your guys just sitting there like... <laughs> <laughs> You know, is Draken Smith? He's a he's Draken Smythe. He's a human, a half, elf. half elf, and Milt was a gnome. gnome. He was a gnome, yes. So there's quite a few different races in this town. There are. Uh, and he's the mayor. Did we notice anything is. other than human, gnome, and elf in this town? Or? Um, it's rather cosmopolitan. Uh, the preponderance of people happen to be human. Uh, there are some half elves or um, some half elf orcs involved. Um, overall, uh, the majority of people tend towards human. Um, just like any major metropolis, though, there's going to be the passage of people. Uh, very rarely you do spot the occasional dwarf. Uh, it does not seem to be well re represented, but there were perhaps three or four of them uh, in the entire crowd as you pass through. Uh, these marauders, so are they more of like, are they the talkative type? Like, do they, do they speak my tongue? What are we looking at here? What are we looking for? Well, actually, that's the reason that I called in some external help. We've been having difficulty figuring out their means and motivations because of the last three times that we've interacted, uh, or we've had uh, carriages lost, nobody's been harmed, and nobody was able to report the circumstances under which it happened. So one of our concerns is there's some sort of specific magic involved, um, and our fear is that they're powerful enough that they would be outside of our ability to deal with. So these caravans, they don't have any sort of recollection. They just came to and just noticed that all of what they were transporting was just suddenly missing. Do, are they even aware that anything is missing? Or are they, do they seem like shell shook? Is anything, do they seem normal outside of? Like, forgetting that they were ransacked? There's a lot to unpack on that, but let's, uh, let's start with the first part of the inquiry. Yeah, uh, they did note that things were missing, but that's the major, cons the major part of what we don't understand, is not everything is missing. Um, in the last two attacks, nothing was missing at all. When in the first attack... Do you know what went missing? Did you keep like an inventory of what you were sending out to the capital? He seems to hesitate. Uh, don't know exactly if he's trying to change how he's about to say things or he doesn't want to say it. Um, but as he speaks, It seems like they're looking for luxury packed goods. Uh, a lot of what we transport to the capital happens to be our freshly made uh, canned goods. Um, here around town, you're not exactly going to pay premium for it, but the fact that we're able to package and make uh, fresh fish available, um, oh, fresh enough fish. Uh, <laughs> fresh enough. Uh, through the canning process, uh, has actually been garnering a lot of interest and a reasonable amount of money. Um, initially, mm -hmm. I suspected that uh, either a competitor or something along those lines was trying to disrupt our supply chain. And I'm not sure if they thought maybe if they tried to resell our goods, it would make them more likely to be captured, but they didn't even destroy them. So, a couple things aren't quite adding up here, Chief. So, <laughs> if you think that these might be competitors that are coming after your goods to try to resell, it doesn't really make much sense to me that nothing was missing in your last two convoys that got sent out. If you're desperate, Precisely. Enough, if you're desperate enough to be bringing on a mercenary group, let alone 
you're going to be shelling out the money for these, this premium service that you've got in front of you Wage here. Wage <laughs> So That it, means that w- whatever's missing, it might be a little bit more, I don't know, either lucrative or secretive as to what you're letting on. If, if you're going to be hiring us for this task, you, you've got to let me know what you know. All right. Um, are you trying to compel him to give more information, or are you trying to figure out if he's hiding trying something? Trying to persuade him. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to compel. I'm trying to compel him to tell me the entirety help of what he knows about what's going on. Roll a diplomacy check to try and get him to to really like be more open. If you think that he's he's hiding things, let's let's get a diplomacy check on that. Uh, would I add? Is it just a base roll, or would I add anything? If it's to not it? trained, it's going to be your roll plus your charisma modifier. Yeah. All right. It's just going to be a ten then. Oof. He hesitates for a second. Uh, there's a lot of speculation in what you said. Um, the one thing I do want to push back and against is the the issue of desperation. The one thing I can tell you is if if my suspicions are correct. This becomes a political matter, and I cannot directly involve my people in this. So the more reasonable option is to go with the mercenary team. You don't have any particular loyalty, and I do appreciate that coin is the the ledger by which your trust and honor is bought, but it also means that you don't belong to me in any kind of tangible way. Once the coins change hand, your objective is to do what I'd asked, but you're not my employee. You're not part of my city. You're not someone that is known enough to come back on me. Understood. If you're, if you're saying that this could potentially turn political, I don't need to know the politics behind it, but maybe you could point me in a, a certain direction so that way we could figure out where we should start our search for this marauder group if, it, if it's thinking, political. Would you be willing to send out another caravan for us to ride along with them? <sighs> Try, yeah, I think that's probably the best way for us to flush them out. Uh, I've already been spreading rumors that we're going to send a more laden... Uh, carriage. Um, Got tuna in there, huh? <laughs> the <laughs> finest. <laughs> um, but that would be, I think, the easiest way, and that was kind of where my mind was going. If I can compel them to attack, and we can get the information on who they are, or you can just eliminate them. Honestly, my preference is they are the attacks are done. My concern isn't in any particular way that it's done. Whatever is the most expedient for you is sufficient for me. Will there be any good in the caravan we're actually transporting? Yes. If they don't attack, then why would I waste the journey? Okay, so real quick, everybody, what are our classes that we're playing here again? I'm a fighter. A fighter? Druid. Druid. Cleric. Cleric. Okay, so I'm assuming that either one of you two would have a little bit more of a... What are you? I am a artificer, so I I, I like to tinker with stuff. But I'm assuming... If they have a little bit more, if they're suspecting maybe some magic is at play, do you think that either of you would be able to potentially suss that out if we were to go maybe interview one of the caravanners? Nah, I got zero our time. I got, okay. I'm pretty dumb at magic. <laughs> I'm with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. My intelligence has no modifier. <laughs> <laughs> guck, guck. <laughs> guck, guck, guck is guck. Guck's well. Guck's get a smash. Uh, <laughs> so if you guys are speaking about any of these options in, in person and in character, um, he does kind of break up that. I mean, if you actually have the capacity to investigate the uh, uh, caravan, uh, we actually have one of the stagecoaches that was attacked recently. Um, if you think you might be able to get some information from it, I'd be more than happy to put it at your disposal to investigate. Wouldn't hurt. I think we should go check it out, and then from there, is that also where it would be? The next one would be departing. Yes, so uh, we've moved we'll everything we, we could go. into the warehouse. Mm-hmm. Okay. In your warehouse, would you by chance have any rope for subduing the suspects if it comes about? I oh, I'd be some, uh, I got some hemp and rope. I have no ropes. I was just curious. You guys had plenty of rope? Uh, I, I can definitely supply you some rope. That, okay. That'd be more than reasonable. I, so, if it doesn't have to travel with you after, there'd be no cost or any kind of issue with that. Just leave it on the carriage. Absolutely. 
So is there a spot in town where I can get like potions and stuff? But there is. Uh, there actually has been a pretty large uh, renaissance of available goods here in town as we kind of keep pushing towards grander influence and affluence. Uh, people are people are arriving. Uh, if you'd like, uh, Milton can show you, or you can feel free to explore my town. Check out the fancy wagon. I'll go stock up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, who you remind me of in GTA Five? Trevor's cousin, or whatever. No, the Wade, the dude with all the piercings and everything. Guck is just Wade. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna head over to what I perceive to be the general store or something. Uh, so as you're wandering through town, there actually is a vendor uh, okay. who, who, even to your admittedly limited reading comprehension, uh, has pictures. It, it does in <laughs> fact have pictures of a potion right on the shop. I, I stop by the shop and I stare at that picture for a few seconds and I'm going, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> you, you seem to have an issue with your eyesight, sir. You uh, you want a potion for that? We have no issues quit. here. <laughs> No. Okay. I well, how can I help you? Some health potions. Why? Are you, why? D did you develop a list? <laughs> Guck has a list. <laughs> that's why he's Wade. <laughs> <laughs> so you now have a list as well. All right, that's fine. Uh, all right. Uh, yes, we do actually uh, sell some of those. Uh, what quantity would you be looking for? How much? Four each. Oh. Uh, so you're asking how much they would cost. Uh, those are going to be... Uh, 15 gold each. 15 gold each? Let's get, let's get five health potions. Does your lips... Uh, hmm. I'm not oh very good at Is this contagious? I'm working on it. It's contagious. Uh, does it extend to your counting capacity? No. Okay. Then we'll get you... Oh, five for 15 each. Okay. Yeah. So right. that's 75 mil? Yeah. Yes. I've got quite a bit of room. <laughs> I rolled really Duck well. rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we started with a decent amount of gold. We lucked out. I still got 120. Out. <laughs> Dang, God. I rolled really well with my fighter shit. It's pretty much the only thing I got good in this whole thing. Was the, uh, was the amount of wealth yeah. you have? Okay. Um, so while Guck is Guck dealing with the potion hard. vendor, uh, Milton leads you to the warehouse where inside you see the uh, wrecked remains of a stagecoach. Um, there's plenty of obvious signs of damage to it, but if your investigation leads to more unexpected things, go ahead and roll me uh, perception checks. Absolutely, I'll roll a perception check. That one? That one. <laughs> do I see any he claw marks? He closes his eyes. <laughs> 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 do I see any claw marks like an animal was there? But I got a nat one, so what's up, my guy? Well, um, so, Eamon, you're not really able to see anything more than the just obvious signs. Uh, the fr axle, The front axle is uh, bent and shattered. Uh, the wheel itself is cast at an awkward angle. Um, there are peripheral signs of scoring, but no... No burns, no additional magical residue that you can turn on. With a one, you don't get anything more than that. That's just the physically you walk up to it and you see that it's a wagon with some broken wheels. Willow, I'm pretty sure this wagon was attacked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about Willow? What does Willow have? Dave USA, Ooh. thanks for the set. Thank, Thank you so you much, Dave. Dave. Hey, Dave. USA, USA, USA. USA. He gave you a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a guy. Um, I got a 13. 13. Uh, so you spend a bit more time looking at the scoring. Um, a lot of what the damage comes from looks like it's come from some sort of high-pressure source. Um, do you have knowledge, nature, or herbalism? Absolutely, I do. All right. Proficient one of them? Nature, yeah. 18. 18. Um, so you, you take out your knife and you just kind of begin uh, picking at the high pressure uh, damage. You find uh, 
a few things that are unexpected. You find uh, there's actually some algae and some ocean-based uh, detrius mm. um, shoved into where the... Uh, at this point, it almost looks like water pressure has been uh, uh, compressed and forced against the carriage. Just wanted to take a moment to say I appreciate your use of the word detritus because it's not used nearly enough in everybody's day to day. It's it always Debris, never detritus. So Correct. I appreciate you for that. Well, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> your appreciation. <laughs> All right. I think it was Davy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking mermaids. So it's Davy Jones. Makes more sense. Harem of mermaids. Harem. <laughs> <laughs> Harem. Oh my. That's not that kind of um, spicy show. He said he wanted whatever. Yeah, whatever I said in the what group was it? chat. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was goblins gargling. Um, we'll leave the rest to the chat's Ooh. imagination. Is there a well in this town? Uh, yes, there is. All right, can I stumble upon that to fill up my water skin while we're here? Sure thing. All right, you guys keep going. Um, <laughs> Guck do errands. <laughs> I got no business trying to figure out what happened there. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I need Guck to roll a percentage for me. A what? A percentile. I have no idea what that means. Is that uh, the... Your 2D tens. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. We got a 13. 13. All right. Thank you. I didn't uh, like that. <laughs> and in this detritus, is there like a removable piece of just like the caravan that I might be able just to take a little bit of it to imbue some of my tinkering magical powers into? It's like a, pe- a splintered piece of wood, no more. I mean, it's a workshop. You have plenty of tools available. If you wanted to do a, a slight disassembly, the carriage itself is wrecked. Uh, Milton looks over at you. Uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, it, we would have to do a full rebuild. So do you want it as a souvenir? You can have it. Uh, I've, I've got some plans. Just, just if I can get, get a nice little piece of wood off of, the, of this caravan, I'll, I'll just take a piece or two. All right. I, I don't understand your motivations for it, but it carries no value. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just going to take one of those splintered pieces of detritus and put it inside of my bag to be able to potentially stow some power into later. All right. Okay. While they're doing so, all this, can I roll back up? Yes. All right. I'm going to walk in and throw a potion to each one of them and go, heads up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guck, a little warning. <laughs> All right. So I'm so. down to two potions on there. Um, you said there's, it was like algae and stuff. With yeah. the, is there a way, this might be stupid because I, as a real me, I don't know if there's a difference, but like, would I be able to tell if it's from salt water or like a lake, for example? With an 18, you absolutely know. Okay. Um, so you realize that this isn't a freshwater component. Mm-hmm. Um, this is something that both necessitates and thrives in salt water, and it doesn't live very long Davey either. Okay. So it's something that it's in the state it's in, it wouldn't have been able to get there if the carriage hadn't picked it up near where the attack happened. Mm. Okay, so the attacks are definitely Did happening. Did you find out where like in serious, the path of the sea yeah. dweller? Like if we go by the sea or anything for this path? We'll have to ask the... You guys, uh, you guys will have to ask. Route, I can't yeah. word that in any way that's going to come out. <laughs> Where does carriage go? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I guess I, I'd like to kind of walk up to the carriage and kind of just like run my hands around it and kind of just give some feels and see if I feel any like using my cleric and holy knowledge, see if I feel any, like, demonic or demon or dark presence about, like, from the scorch mm. marks or, like, any black magic that might have caused it, maybe, mm-hmm. if I can. No, it feels reasonable. Um, so you commune with your deity. You kind of just suss out the, the vibes in the room. Um, you don't detect any kind of demonic interference. Um, if it were ever to have uh, been involved, it would have been, at most, very, very minor. Okay. Um, and it would have had to been quite some time ago. So you feel confident that there's no overt demonic influence over this situation. Okay, cool. If we're at a workshop right now, do we see just like any like stewards of the state like work in there? Like any any employees working out of this workshop? Yep. Aside from Milton, you have three or four uh, available attendants, uh, people whose job it is to maintain and repair the carriages. 
uh, people who would uh, man as carriers to take care of the horses. Um, what are you? What information are you looking for? I was just, I guess, so Milton is there. Milton is there. I'm just gonna call out to him. Just <laughs> you, <laughs> you got, you got a map for us for the surrounding areas. It, it, it help out quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, do, do you do you know the trade route that these caravans follow? Uh, yes, actually, we've gotten a pretty tight schedule for it. Uh, it does the predictability does make this unfortunately an expected situation on occasion. Um, but yes, uh, he pulls out a map um, to the northeast. Uh, there is a uh, gradual increase in elevation to the bluff until it turns into a plateau. Uh, leading to a plains uh, towards the northeast that uh, eventually ends in the tram. Um, its addition to the map is relatively recent. Uh, you can still see that it doesn't match the rest of the uh, the etching of the way that the map was created. Um, but So this is a living document. Um, what information are you looking to get? Any bodies of water that are located anywhere close to this trade route? Oh. Hmm. I didn't really consider that. Um, so he brings out a, a he brings out like a, a magnifying uh, glass um, and begins showing some. I don't know if you know anything about maps, um, but we've been working on this to get some topography in here. Um, how large do you think it would have to be? Uh, big enough for fishing. Yeah, at least like a pond Aren't, or large. Isn't this town you said it's a fishing town? Is on the coast? Yeah. And so but we're going away from... You're coast. going away from the yeah. coast. You're going more inland toward the northeast. Oh, also. There's this part of me that I'm like, what if it's... Whatever's attacking it is from the town we're in already. And it's like... I didn't like that 13% roll from that well. And it makes me think there's something like under the town. It's in the well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I got like eggs in the sack now. <laughs> Face hugger aliens just bursting right. from your chest. I don't like that. Session zero, he died. Why? <laughs> aliens. <laughs> It'd be a fitting end. <laughs> so along along this trade route, do we see any markers of what could be like anything at least that's like a pond or larger, like any lakes or anything, any I, ravines I'm running? I'm thinking of like a... Like inlet, is that the word? Where it's like coming from the An inlet from where, the ocean, the, mm -hmm. like where it kind of like begins Anything that would be connected to the ocean. Like a brackish one. Or even. <laughs> Does anyone have geography? Mm -mm. Or. I don't know what that would fall under. But Surprisingly, my perception is one of my higher ones. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and lean harder on that na nature go for me. Go ahead and roll a knowledge nature. We'll see what we can suss out about us? the map. I yeah. just had. If, no yeah, any of you that have it trained, obviously you're going to have a better chance at it, but. Uh, anyone nature. Roll it. Any nature checks? <laughs> Matt 20. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, nice. Any nature checks, I think I'm, leave I it think to I'm this figuring one. this out in my head. It's what we're transporting, right? Something about what we're transporting is attacking them or oh my coming God, to life like or from something. From the fish? Bro. They're packaging up something that shouldn't be packaged up. Maybe. That's where my minds go. But the algae coming from the sea, all the fishing, they're canning and everything, and then it's attacking them or something. But also, if we're, if we're following the infected. rules... We're disrupting the natural state of the water, you guys. If we're following the we rules... We gotta stop overfishing, man. <laughs> <laughs> if we're following the rules in the lore and world of Tasha's Cauldron, there's also a different subcategory for one of like the wizard classes or whatever where they the use water-based... Attack. So I'm thinking mm -hmm. to myself, if there aren't any larger bodies of water, where like potentially a what monster coming wagon? from them, it was just algae and it could potentially be a wizard who it's, it's manifests high, water powers. High pressure force. It looked like scorch marks, algae but from what I'm understanding, it, it, it could be meant like water burns, maybe. Like actual right, skeleton so water. Yeah. So something out of. Sorry, that was me. I'm the chair. <laughs> it was the, the chair, chair freaks me out because it sounds like it's back here. Yeah. yeah. Um, Something comes out of these boxes, magical, like assembles itself, attacks, and then just goes back in or something. I don't know. Like a could mimic. Be something after the fish too. True. Mm. As a food source, just an easy. Hey, I can mm -hmm. grab a whole bunch of food here. Yeah, we're like it's an evil they're goose. They're taking away from the. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. <laughs> I want to walk up and just rub my finger over the algae and just go. 
Any thwomp land around here? <laughs> uh, there's not, no. Um, so going back to the knowledge nature check, you said you got a 16? I got a nat 20. You got a nat 20. Yeah. So between the two of you, you actually pour over the map. You find uh, a couple uh, dips in the terrain where it's possible there could be an oasis in the in-betweens. Um, the nearest one should be about far enough to where it's just over a day journey. Um, you guys were talking about this in character, um, so I think that there would be plenty of opportunity for people nearby to hear you. Um, one of the couriers uh, actually uh, looks over at you. I don't know if there's any oasi oasis. Mm. Oasis. Don't want oasis. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, that definitely feels. That one feels worse. I think worse. the term you're looking for is water. <laughs> Thank you. I turn back and I'm like, thanks, Scott. You know what? That's probably the easier way to say it. He's not wrong. So there's not really any like major water pieces around here. Um, what makes you suspect water? I don't think we should share with any strangers. Uh, we're just trying to see if there's any places we can stop by and grab ourselves some supplies. We want to have a beach day. We, we don't want to run out of water on our way along beach the road. Day. Oh. <laughs> well, the last Gunk time... Gunk is just starting to shake. He's getting so excited. <laughs> the last time we were attacked, it wound up being a situation where it was... Uh, well, this one uh, seemed to happen about a day and a half out of the uh, city, so... Mm. Um, hmm. Depending on your radius, that's not an impossibility. So okay. I guess we'll that's just... We'll mark, yeah, we'll mark down on our maps or whatever mm. that Oasi... OC, uh, we're going to mark that down on the map for probably one of our first primary points of interest. How far? I don't know who's with us at this point to ask this, so whoever's the most relevant, but like, how long does the entire voyage take if they successfully made it to the city? Like, How long is the journey supposed to be? So to the major junction for the, the tram system, it's about a two-day journey. Um, okay. We don't want to push the horses because if anything major happens and we have to run, I don't want to put them in a state where they would die mm -hmm. um but two days uh give or take it's it's a medium distance i commend your respect for the animals oh. <laughs> <laughs> god don't judge me <laughs> <laughs> nah. um, all right um i feel like we have some pretty good information yeah yes so i just want to make sure like do any of us have any sort of like supplies or uh Anything that we have, or do we need to stock up on anything for this journey we're about to partake on? I think Guff got, got us covered. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, the only thing I don't have on me right now would be food. Yeah, food and I water. And I have well, zero water. I have, I have a water we skin that's filled with something with that I would assume is water. <laughs> I'll look at Milton and say, so got any food yeah, for us to at least make rations. us through the next day or two? Does it? No, we can, make, we can make provisions available to you. Bread, roll, How do you feel about fish? He gets a little bit of a gleam in his eye. Like, hmm. Oh, I didn't write that. Is it fresh, it's That's fresh enough? It's fresh enough. That's all I need. It's fresh it's enough. enough. That's all I need. All right, so I guess we're loading up on some fish. We got our supplies for the rest of this trip. Hell yeah. Hope you like sushi. Hope you like sashimi. Oh, all right, fresh the, enough tuna. Is, do we see our car? <laughs> we don't do that here. Yeah, when does the next caravan head out? We're about ready to... Take off on it. The that stands to your convenience. So if you're ready to leave, we can leave in the morning. Uh, it'd be easiest to make sure the horses are prepped, rested, and fed. Mm -hmm. um, then we can leave in the morning and start the journey. Um, are there any further preparations that you guys would prefer to make? I'd like a warm bed and a cold glass of mead. Hell yeah, brother! Oh, uh, you guys can stop by the saloon. That'd be a good place to get lodging. Uh, from there, let's just... drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so you guys headed out of the warehouse uh, towards the center of town again, uh, off to the west side of the town. There's a few uh, saloons available to you. Um, one of the more lively ones, uh, some music coming out of the, uh, out of the doors. Uh, you push inside. Uh, <laughs> Trying to lead that out, uh, but the saloon itself uh, is very popular um, and uh, is popping. Uh, what I'm do you guys want saloon. to do? Uh, I'd like oh. to walk up to the barkeep. There's a barkeep, I imagine. Yes. Um, and I'd barkeep. 
How much for a room and a glass of mead? Well, howdy, partner. Ah, uh, I suppose. Why does no one else have an accent? Because <laughs> that's the well, bar like from somewhere else. Well, he uh, had a normal accent, but he got to this town and was like, "I better make it fit." <laughs> <laughs> got the hat and everything. Came, came with the outfit. He's when we walk up, is he just cleaning a glass? <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> Always cleaning a glass. It keeps him busy when he's not busy. Uh, well, all right. I suppose it'd be a silver for the room and a silver for the glass of mead. I'll get you situated as soon as you possible. Sounds wonderful. I'm also looking for a little extra fun. Does anyone here like to gamble? I, I did thought not think we were that's going where I was going. going. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I'm a cleric, <laughs> mind you guys. Come on, I'm still a little priest-like. There, mm, yeah, there's probably a, a card game or two uh, passing about. What are you uh, looking for? I like a game of chance. Uh, yeah. Uh, he play gestures over the corner. There's a group of people sitting around... Uh, table, they all have uh, cards in their hand. Uh, what are the stakes? I'm going to walk over to this table and brush off whatever they were doing and Jeez. set down a thing of bone dice on the table. And then just throw God, five gold coins on the table and, and say, who's man enough to take it? <laughs> <laughs> like, this this sounds very scary. sexually overt. <laughs> There's so this brief out. moment of... Uh, of, of like immediate action as they all like begin reaching for weapons as you sl- just roll your arm across the table throwing the cards everywhere uh, before the, the they narrow their eyes and push coins back at the center. Mm-hmm. They're not friendly. You did not make a friend here, but they're more than I'm willing. <laughs> they're more than willing to try and take your uh, take your money. What are the rules, interloper? <laughs> Um, what do we want to play? I would like to check in with the room as well, but then I, I want to go take a walk along the water. Okay. Um, so it'll be a silver for that, and are we doing, like, D6s? Like, what, are, what is our method gonna, here? Yeah, let's, let's just go high roll. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go, uh... Six D6s make matches. So I how, have one D6 wait, I'm sorry. How, right how, many, right how many silvers um, in a gold? Silver and also, and before he ten. rolls, yes. before he rolls, is this barkeep at all paying attention to like this game? Is he is uh, like any so like inclined to watch what's about to happen. Oh yes, he is. Especially okay. when uh, I made a scene. <laughs> when, when, when Guck just went over and slid the. And as I do that, so, I look back over you guys and I give him a wink. <laughs> so as he's doing this, little three foot tall me is going to see if I might be able to try to like slink around like the corner of the bar and see if there's like any any lower kegs like lower to the ground that are just there like <laughs> position to, to be able to swap them out. Because if so, I'd like to try to sneak behind the barkeep. And just like go around and just hug around one of the kegs, pop the tab, and then just see how long I can just chug and see if like I don't want him to notice it though. I'm just I'm just trying to take a nice swig off a keg on the ground if there is any. Okay. Is like... The blank face of just you're such an idiot. <laughs> so are you trained in stealth? <laughs> Say no. <laughs> No. He's in like heavy metal armor. <laughs> like, what are you? Tink, right tink. I am in scale mail. Oh, that is so, advantage on stuff. So he also clinks when he walks too. That, not just tinking, I'm, he's clinking too. You said chain mail? Scale mail. Scale mail. Okay, I'm in chain mail. I have disadvantage on stuff. Yeah, no, with scale mail, you also have disadvantage on, on stealth. Yeah, we're going to abide by that. <laughs> but I Let's, feel like that disadvantage is gone because I took all the attention in the room. <laughs> You know what? Uh, let's let's wash it. Yeah, let's wash the disadvantage because you're you're distracting. You're aiding another on that one. Let's give it a go. I feel like it would be the opposite where everyone went Don't so quiet. Don't talk against our team. The seventeen. Everyone, everyone went so quiet. Okay, so you sidle up to the bar and you are able to grab your, a hold of a keg. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm gonna go like how like Charlie likes to count oil. I'm gonna count beer as I chug it, and I just wanna I just wanna drink enough beer that I can count where I think I can get away with it. And it'll get me nice and sloshed. You, you know when Charlie's like, when uh, they're trying to like steal or I get what all the gas. Saying. I'm, you know how he's just like counting the gas as it comes out. I'm gonna be counting the beer, and I'm just gonna count enough beer I think I can get away with. I'm not gonna try to do any additional rolls or anything. I just want to get away with as much as I can chug without the barkeep figuring out what I'm up to. All right. 
I've a little rolled, gnomish I've, me probably doesn't take much to get absolutely floored. Right. So I've rolled the total of beers you can you can skag without getting caught. Uh, do you want to roll and see how many you think you take, or do you want to just state the number? Your choice. Roll it. I guess I'll I'll roll. So am I rolling like on another d twenty, or what am I rolling here? I rolled a d six. D six. Okay. He's like I might be able to have twenty beers. I could have twenty beers. All right. Uh, so I'm rolling to try to th- like to see how much I'm going to drink versus how much you. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Five. So you're, you're counting in your head one beer, two <laughs> beer, three beer. You cough a little bit and, and, and lean back farther. Uh, by the time beer four hits your lips, the barkeep <laughs> grabs you up. <laughs> he shakes you a little bit. That'll be five beers. I promise I only drank two beers. All right, in the middle of this oh, happening, God. can we do my betting game real quick? He believes you. Yeah! <laughs> Pay for two beers. <laughs> All right, so you, got beer, you got any gold for two three beers, times. Jones? Try and make matches. You could choose one number. So if you roll like four threes, you're obviously going to be like, I'm going to try and make threes. And then you have okay, I got what you're saying. Right, so we're playing dice. Yeah. So I only uh, have two D6s I'll, I'll, over here. I'll trade you one time. There. Ooh. And Annie, sorry, Willow, uh, what information are you trying to gather from the the shoreline, or are you just kind of wandering? I'm just kind of wandering I'm assuming, like, and two seeing like, if anything's would be good, washed but... up that looks like the algae I saw earlier, or see if I can like sense a presence in general. I don't know. I feel like I've got decent arcana on nature, and that sort of thing. So. Three, four is too fast. Also, just to get away from these blockheads, <laughs> respectfully. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, while he's uh, rolling his dice and getting that situated, uh, you go on your walk, you march up the shoreline and just kind of begin strolling, um, taking in the scenery, taking in the shoreline. Um, even passive perception, you do know uh, on, on occasion you come across patches of algae, um, kelp, and things that are reminiscent of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so you recognize that it would have been sourced locally. So wherever that came from, it's, it may not be unique to this, this uh, village, but it is something that would come from here. Mm-hmm. Um, so at this point, you don't suspect that that's something that has come from far away. It's not someone who is a deep traveler. It lends more credence to, in your head, at least, that your theory that it's someone internal to the town um, has uh, a tie to this. Uh, so what am I rolling against? So you're rolling all three, and then you get all, two more all, rolls after that. You're keeping. Not all three. You roll three. We're playing times. dice, so you're keeping whatever. You have that matches, and you're trying to get the highest number of matches. Kind so of. Ryan had... I had two four, or three fours, two fives. And you get to roll three times for your matches. If you, so if you, you pull like aside whichever ones you want to keep. All right. So And it's not the overall value, it's just the number of matches. Number of matches with higher values, yeah. Is but it? obviously, like, five ones would still beat out Ryan. Yeah. That's... And is, so it's the number of matches to each other, or is like four of a kind worth more than? So like four pairs? ones would beat his. Yeah. Three fours. You already but have four of a kind. I don't. I have two pairs and a third one. All right. Uh, I got a three of a kind and a pair of fours. What's your three of a kind? Sixes. Oh, you beat it, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my two kind beat his, but not my three pair. All right, so we I walk. reluctantly push my gold over to him and just walk away sulking. <laughs> <laughs> but I pick up my bone dice back up. <laughs> That's what my dice. <laughs> the mood of the table improves. Uh, if you want to lose more money to us, you know where we're at. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm going to look at the barkeep, and I'm going to tell him. So I don't have any gold on me right That's now, nice. but you know, you know, Milt, right? Milt, pretty cool dude. He just hired us to go out one of your convoys, so I know I'm about to be bringing back a nice fat stack here. So if you let me chug another two beers, 
I'll pay you. I, I I've only drank the two so far. Did we Let me chug much, another two. How much gold was? And I'll pay you for five when we get back. Uh, silver. Oh, it was a silver? All right, I'm just going to walk over while he's saying that and just throw a gold coin on the table and just keep them coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you let me chug another two beers, I'll pay you five when I get back. Again, blockhead. Yeah. Uh, so, he <laughs> just he shrugs at you. Uh, the gold, still, the gold still pays. Uh, here, you want another beer? He uh, puts one on the table. Don't put your filthy mouth on our cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab my swill and get absolutely shitty right, yeah, for the just, rest of the evening. We're just drinking like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, do you want to push for Constitution saves, or you want to roll a die to determine how many beers uh, you drink and how reasonable it is you are hungover tomorrow? Yeah, I'll roll another d6 to see if I might be able to handle enough before I brown out. <laughs> oh, that's another six beers. You are You've died swifty. of alcohol. <laughs> one. <laughs> you just, you drink one beer. <laughs> I left quite the tip for him. <laughs> <laughs> I've had three. Okay, so that actually covers the whole, uh, the whole gold worth of uh, rounds. So he's fine. You guys are all situated up and... So um, at this point, the barkeep gave me is... another one plus the six right there. I'm at ten beers. Uh, what is your con score? Uh, I die have... immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I mean, a plus two modifier, but... So that would be a 12 or a 13. Or, sorry, a 14 Yeah, it's or a 14. 15. We already situated our room for the night. I'm also, yeah. three, some, I'm also three feet tall. I'm going to stumble upstairs. At some, yeah, at some point I'm in the evening, gonna, you just black out and pass out of the bar. I'm going to reach over and grab onto the back of his outfit and just pull him up and throw him over my shoulder and <laughs> carry him up to bed. <laughs> I had this idea earlier. I think we might need to put into effect where Guck just wears him in like a baby Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> Master Blaster. Yeah, I'm just going to flip my backpack over to the front and like tuck him into it. <laughs> what if we're walking through a shopping center he puts me on a leash so I can't get too far. <laughs> <sighs> he just has a keg wrapped around his neck like a St. Bernard. Whenever he, needs you, he just shakes it extra hard. It's just hard. like a sippy cup, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm calling it for our characters for the night. Yeah. I just, I guess I would have came back in separately. So do I have any... Probably, and I'll tell you guys what I found tomorrow. Do these plan. ten beers, are they going to have any lingering effect on me leading into the morning when we embark? Your liver is I slowly failing. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, like at ten over. beers, it would be, it would be swiftly failing, but no. Uh, at ten beers, uh, you, you drink enough to where you are fully unconscious. Uh, in the morning, you will be hungover. So we're going to get a or negative one to, to any skill check that revolves around a mental stat. Yeah. Just straight up well, negative one. Well, cool. unless you're not one of our smarter guys. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, any F, any check for balance uh, is at disadvantage. But I get like at least like a plus ten for charisma, right? <laughs> <laughs> you think you have a plus Just 10 for charisma. smelling like old beer, like, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, if you continue wandering around, you actually uh, you get approached by uh, an older woman. Ah, hi, la- hi there. Are you looking for anything particular? Just taking an evening stroll by the ocean. <laughs> I don't trust. I don't trust strangers. That's my. Does Willow trait. make that same face? <laughs> <laughs> you should have said why. Why? What a deep voice you have, Grandma. <laughs> 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 I, I, I'm not going to do an old lady voice. I, I feel like people might wow, get offended. Wow, I feel chipped. I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to be a burden, but <laughs> I, I've been around this town for a long time. I've, I've seen that questioning look on people's faces. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, you, overall, you see that she's entirely harmless. Okay. Um, she's diminutive. She's about four and a half feet tall. Um, has a pleasant, pleasant demeanor. Um but bears no obvious weaponry of any kind. Until you find out it's someone who casts a spell to look like that grandma, but it's actually like <laughs> an evil sorcerer. They do exist. Yeah, stranger, a possibility. Danger, stranger danger, period. Stranger danger, period. Stranger danger, period. 
How are you tonight, ma'am? Can I help you with anything? Uh, no, no, as, as, as the day's business, as the fades, uh, I'm not as spry as I used to be, so I, I don't spend as much time fishing as I used to, but I still like to be near the water. Mm -hmm. It's too much bustle during the day, though. Uh, are you, what are you, what, what, what are you, what are you, what are you looking for? What, what, what bothers you this night? I'm scared of this grandma. I'm not going to lie. Old people be prying too much. <laughs> have no Old people do be prying too much. I know. I like wanted Guck to go with me, but he had to pull out the bone die. I got to win. I'm a gambling addict. I got to go fast. <laughs> I don't have it written here, but I'm a gambling addict. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna play it up and be like, act like I wasn't looking for anything, being like, oh, I'm just taking a stroll to keep my mind off. I've heard there's been some attacks nearby the town and, you know, hoping it's it's safe in here. How do you feel about the town's safety? Hmm. Uh, change always brings uh, a, a difference to a town, but uh, there's always danger involved in it. I suppose it's not much da more dangerous than any other town. It is, a, it, is a, it is a tragedy, the, the stagecoaches, but I, I, I don't know that it, it, it's a major worry. Uh, I've heard the rumors, and they, they haven't said that anyone died. Mm. It can't be that violent, it can't be that terrible. Mm -hmm. Anything else you've heard in the rumors? Old ladies of gossiping. True. True. Ah, uh, <laughs> true. I say, I say this directly what to What if her. this is like a poor and rich thing? Pulling Werther's out of your pocket, like I'll make it worth your while. Doing something because of the rich canning people or something. Yeah, they're like taking away their fishing. Something. Anyway, let her, uh, let her. I've heard many things. Well, well, I mean, I don't know if you want the John of an old woman all night. Or, well, or do you have a particular question that you you have for me, or do you just want the more interesting Thanks things I know? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Particular, just you seem like a wise young woman. I'd love to. I'd love, oh, to, hear, <laughs> I'd love, to, I'd love to hear all your insight. Especially Session being one, a local. I'm just, grandma. I'm just visiting this town. <laughs> I'm just visiting this town for a little seaside Ooh, you visit. <laughs> oh, we, we we've had those growing pains. Uh, there's been a lot changing. The way that we we get our fish, the the, the mount, the the style, the the transport. There's so many things in flux. It's it's interesting to me, but I'd, I I don't know that I can keep track of all of it. Mm. Uh, I do know that. Uh, uh, not everybody is happy that uh, the things have changed they were, but nobody is going to be happy at all things. It's just how it goes. So true. So what are people mm -hmm. not happy about? Is there like a overfishing problem? Has it been detrimental to local local businesses, local locals in the village or town, city, etc.? Oh, uh, I suppose we might be pushing towards the city at this point, but yeah. it's a town to me. Yeah. I've lived here my whole life. I don't think that uh, we're overfishing, but... Mm -hmm. I, I am not. Is that? Is that? It's probably. Are you doing that, or is it actually raining? Sorry, guys. Some deep hop. Oh no! I was like, "This is deep cut." I didn't realize you were playing a new. Coming down pretty hard. Uh, there's always someone who can be unhappy about how things are changing. Uh, don't remember all of your question because I made myself very distracted with the rain. Just um. Has the larger like shipping industry been detrimental to like local fishermen, local businesses? Uh, the, there was a big change in how how we were competing. There used to be a family-run thing. There were several families who did certain things, but now, uh, as the demand for fish has changed, well, the way we get it is different. Uh, some of the families may feel a certain way about it, but I don't know that they are in a position to do what you're 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 fearful they might right. i don't think we could attack these carriages okay thanks grandma are you my grandma <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you, does Willow have anything else that she would like to do for the evening? No. I feel like I should walk. Should I offer to walk her back or something? I don't know. But otherwise, I'm set. <laughs> oh, Can I, I help you cross the street, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm uh, in front of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she takes a pipe out. I suppose it, uh, it would be a, a, 
a privilege to have someone share the night with me. Oh, no, I'm Rizda. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, I'll walk your, I'll walk your <laughs> Oh, it's been... Oh, no, no, that's... <laughs> Oh, it's been far too long since I felt another's warm embrace. Oh, I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate you. Oh, my goodness, no, not like that. Uh, no. I'm, I'll walk her back and then go back to the. End. Uh, she heads off uh, towards the uh, farther end of the wharf. Uh, you pass by a few shops. Uh, the deep, the the longest dock uh, extends to the. Uh, southwest, um, but you come to a small uh, fisher a fish shop. Um, still signs that it's uh, well cleaned, well upkept, um, but it appears to be uh, like a fishmonger's shop. Well, I appreciate your, 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 your I appreciate your conversation. Bye. Yes, good night. <laughs> <laughs> A little light hangs in the back of the house, a uh, little uh, lantern just sitting on the end. It's sparsely furnished, uh, but it's uh, well-loved and well-upkept. Uh, there's pictures on the wall of, like, a happy family. It's smooth jazz. Maybe Maybe it's like the background. crime documentaries. The they were a happy family on. until... <laughs> That's what I'm thinking is, like, maybe one of the members of the family is, like, disgruntled with the yeah. fishing industry. I think it's the mayor of the town. I was thinking that too. He was shady. We gotta take his mask off. But I jumped to conclusions too easily. (laughs) Exactly. uh, He's really Scooby Doo. He's really a meddling algae monster that we pulled his mask off. True. Tied up, pulled his mask. We pull it up and it's just a bunch of algae like falls out of it. It's just like awesome. (laughs) Um, Call me night. Yeah. I mean, I came upon the fisherman's thing you're saying, apparently, but... That's where you walk her back to, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I intrude her home and steal her fish. <laughs> <laughs> Those okay. pictures look no, valuable. I, uh... <laughs> I guess, yeah, just go back for the night. Okay. Um, so you guys uh, cut in for the night. Uh, you wake in the morning... The bustle of the room downstairs as others are making their way... Uh, back to their jobs, back to other things of occupation. Uh, is that getting picked up by the microphones, too? I know. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. It's a little unfortunate. Yeah, it's very loud in here. It's an active guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you talk about ambience. Oh my god, it is. Oh, there's a terrible storm. <laughs> there is a gale force winds outside as you Sorry. wake. It's just adding to the ambiance of being right off the coast, right? I was, yeah, I mean, we're about was... to go fight the kraken. <laughs> Release it. Uh, but anyway, you guys make your uh, make your way downstairs. It should be uh, soon. Bra- breakfast is available if you want to yeah. catch a meal there, or you do have the option to just head right to where Milton is and uh, get situated. Just walking past the barkeep. Oh, you got a clamato juice for me? You ogre served me. <laughs> <laughs> I want a refund. <laughs> you didn't pay for any of it. I made no bad choices. <laughs> Give me my clamato <laughs> juice. Uh, I mean, it's a fisher village. Yeah, they have oh clamato God. juice. <laughs> he takes and he's, he muddles a fresh clam. Against a bottle of glass and pours tomato juice in it and hands it to you. Okay, well, it sucks. I hate both clams and tomato, so it's about to make everything so I much worse. Grab it off of wherever it needs to put it on a plate or whatever and start stuffing it down my face. It's a juice machine. Yeah, so you're just you putting your clam, hand into right? juice oh, and yeah. just shoveling just it into your mouth. Juice into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a mess on you. He just he looks at you, he's like, Are you sure you're the one who was drunk last night? I just look at him and go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Very refreshing, sir. Uh, w- would you like Anything else? Oatmeal, uh, pancakes, anything like that? Be good. All right. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. All right, we're ready to set up? Yeah, I, I, I believe so. Cap? I'm waiting on Captain's orders. Oh, God. 
It says 2 p.m. It could still be raining, but it's it's supposed to die down. If we take like a so I had an idea. Because I have a feeling that nobody can hear us unless we're like really out. projecting. But I think we should go to where the carriages are. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take a smoke horses. break based on the fact that the weather does right not want to cooperate. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Thank you.